I want to be successful. My motivation comes from like my willingness to prepare and plan my week. What am I most passionate about? What is a priority in my life? What do I hope to achieve this week, this day, this morning? All right, guys, it's about 5.45 in the morning. Uh, on my way to the gym. Today is my freaking favorite training day of the entire week. Armageddon high volume. Today I've got 720 reps. When I do this workout, literally for the entirety of the day, like if I do it at like six o'clock in the morning, I will still have a legitimate pump at 6 p.m. So 12 hours later, I'll still have a pump. And uh, the only thing I have to plan ahead for is um, whether or not my wife is gonna ask me to watch all the kids so she can go do something because after high volume day, I have a lot of problems trying to <laughs> pick up baby JJ. So I'm not a super dad after Armageddon high volume. But the other six days of the week, I'm pretty a freaking super dead. Uh, so we're just pulling up to the gym here in a little bit. It's going down, babe. I'm gonna enjoy my workout. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. She's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am in the sauna, as you can see. Um, I come in here, I try to come here four or five times a week, but sometimes it's difficult to do, but I like to get in here uh, before I train. Um, man, because I'll tell you what, I can get into my working set so much faster, plus there's a ton of different, you know, beneficial um, health benefits to, to getting in the sauna, but um, for you, those of you guys, I have people that message me from time to time on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, uh, complaining that uh, they get really, really sore after leg day. This is my recommendation to you. Make sure you're getting at least uh, a gallon of water per day. Get in the sauna for like 10 or 15 minutes before you train legs. Do that, and then make sure you get a good stretch after leg day. Major key. It's about that time. What time is that, you ask? Freaking Armageddon, week 10, high volume, coming at ya. Just got done warming up now. Um, I'm doing week 10 um, Armageddon, high volume, uh, but I'm actually, um, instead of the finisher that is in the Armageddon program, I'm gonna put a little twist in. Uh, something that I've been working on for about three weeks and I really like it. Um, so I'll show you guys what I've been working on for the last three weeks, but uh, I have learned a lot over my research on what I'm about to show you guys. But before I do, enjoy the workout because I'm about to go ham. Okay, now check this shit. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Ten years from now, they gon' be asking how they slept on this. Fuck my manners, man. Somebody getting swept on this. I'm seeing red, man. I should have gotten meth on this. Marching with the force of a thousand suns. Build your walls. Watch me break them all down to crumbs. I can fit the. All right, so just finished the triceps portion of high volume day. Now uh, I'm gonna put the the BFR the occlusion bands back on, and then I'm going to do the same thing I did for my biceps to my triceps, meaning three sets of 35 to 50, with 15 to 20 seconds rest in between, and uh, then I'm freaking done, dude. I am so freaking swolled right now. I've noticed so far is to make sure that when you're training that specific muscle, like if I'm training the bicep, I want to make sure that I get the strap here, you know, kind of like at the attachment of the bicep head versus the tricep head, the long head attachment is in your back. So I just try to get it as far up the back of my armpit as I can. Um, and that way I can restrict blood, blood at least to the majority of the tricep. We'll get these suckers on as like after that. I'm about to cut 
pass out because all of the blood in my body is in my arms. Well, boys and girls, that was my that was my seventh workout doing occlusion training. So, um, you know, I'm even trying out different blood flow restriction bands. I'm trying out different exercises uh, to do during occlusion. I'm trying occlusion at the beginning of my workout, middle of my workout, end of my workout. So I'm gonna figure out what works the best for me. And as soon as I get that information, I'm gonna make a big lengthy video kind of explaining my experience with it and how I would most recommend it to you. There's nothing quite like getting up, freaking getting it in. Now don't get me wrong, I freaking hate getting up early, but I love being up early. One common denominator of very successful people, they get up early. Doesn't mean you can't be successful if you don't get up early, but that is a common denominator of successful people. I wanna be successful.